Hi, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to all examiners. My name is Nur Izzatu Shazwani binti Muhammad Ismail. Today, I'm going to present to all of you about my final year project progress presentation. My supervisor is Dr. Fatur Rahman bin Dananan and my co-supervisor is Dr. Ahmad Shazni bin Kamarudin. Here are the contents of my presentation today. The research title of my final year project is The Detection of Potential Red Crow Crayfish, Charax Padre Carinatus Bun Martins, 1868, Distribution Using Environmental DNA at Felda Tenang Besut Terengganu. First of all, the background of my study is Charax Padre Carinatus is a species native to Northern Australia and Eastern Papua New Guinea. Due to its lobster-like appearance and habitat, the red claw in Malaysia is locally known as freshwater lobster. Charax quadricarinatus were introduced in Malaysia for aquarium and aquaculture industry. The growing of the red claw crayfish sec culture sector could accelerate and further facilitate the spread of this species in Malaysia. According to Thomson et al. 2012, environmental DNA is the DNA that is detached from the organism and is released into the environment. Environmental DNA also is a collection and analysis of an evolving conservation tool that shows promise to improve the, de the detection of freshwater species. The problem statement of my study is Terengganu is one of the state list having red claw hatchery and the red claw might escape into drainage and river. Serendipity is occurred between red claw crayfish and the residents at Felda Tenang Besut Terengganu. Traditional sampling for detecting this species at Felda Tenang, Felda Tenang will consume lots of time and, and energy also it is less accurate. So the presence of red claw crayfish in Felda Tenang cannot be determined if, uh, accurately. Next is significance of study. Based on the previous study, eDNA is more accurate tool in detecting organism because it is less laborious and less time needed for sampling. By using this method of sampling, the presence of Charax quadricarinatus in Felda Tenang Besut Terengganu also can be determined with higher accuracy. The data also can be used as baseline data to assess the population and future reference. There are two objectives of my study. First of all, to compare and analyze environmental DNA water sampling method in Felda Tenang Besut Terengganu. Second, to determine the presence of Charax quadricarinatus in Felda Tenang based on eDNA samples and its results. Here are the methodology of my experiment. First of all, I will go for field survey and eDNA water samples at Felda Tenang Besut Terengganu. Second is DNA extraction. Polymerase chain reaction, gel electrophoresis, and lastly is data analysis. Next is my progress for this project. At 22 March 2021, I go to sampling at Felda Tenang Besut Terengganu. On the next day, I'm doing the extraction of samples by using the NEZ Power Water Sterivex Kit. And on 5 April, I'm doing polymerase chain reaction and gel electrophoresis. Here are some of the pictures during sampling at Felda Tenang Besut Terengganu. And here are some of the pictures during the extractions of samples at our laboratory. Next is PCR and gel electrophoresis. As you can see, there is thermal cycling condition for my PCR in the table. Beside the table, there is a result of the NA band after gel electrophoresis for five sampling sites. The remaining sampling site does not show any bands after jet electrophoresis. The path forward for my final year project is on week 8, I will do PCR and jet electrophoresis for the remaining sample. After done all the sample, I will start with data analysis. Lastly is my research timeline. I'm done with sample preparation and DNA extraction on March. During April, I continue with DNA extraction, PCR, and gel electrophoresis. During May, I will start with data analysis and thesis writing until June, and also the thesis submission will be on June. I think that's all from me. Thank you!